Hi, I'm Brian Rutherford. I'm a regulatory specialist in the printing industry. I'm talking to you today from the PIA Mid-America offices in Dallas, Texas. Today I wanted to share with you the top 10 OSHA violations in the printing industry for fiscal year 2012. Now, if you go look this up on the internet, the list is going to be slightly different. I tried to combine them into a usable list that uh, kind of took similar violations within the same topic. In other words, for commercial printers, there are three electrical violations in the top 10. I combined them and based on the number of occurrences and the fines that were levied, they come out as number four on the list, just so you know. So this is a little different list than what you would find, but it's, it's a lot more user friendly, usable for you that way. Number one last year was hazard communication. Hazard communication is the right to know law. Uh, the manufacturers of chemicals have to communicate the hazards of those chemicals to the people who actually work with those chemicals, which would be your employees. Now, you have to have a written HASCOM program, you have to do training, you have to have material safety data sheets, you have to have every, lab every container has to be labeled in your facility, and you have to have a hazard assessment of every chemical as well, which basically just means somebody has to actually read the material safety data sheet when it comes into your facility. The number two OSHA violation is lockout tagout. We've been under an emphasis program by OSHA for the last five years on amputation prevention. Through this process, OSHA has learned a lot more about machines and equipment in the printing industry and about the safety items and the safety programs they would like to see implemented. Lockout tagout requires you to have a written procedure on every machine in your facility that is hardwired or has more than one energy source. And a lot of companies don't realize they have to have that and it has to be written. In addition, it has to be reviewed annually. You have to do employee training. That employee training includes hands-on training for people who have to do lockout tagout or might have to do lockout tagout as part of their job. Number three, machine guarding. There are tons and tons of older pieces of equipment in the printing industry today. There's no grandfather clause. Where we're getting hit on machine guarding is primarily older pieces of equipment that is manufactured before maybe 2000. And especially if you get back past about 1990, um, the machine guarding was, was lacking uh, with respect to the, the way the regulations are written for today's pieces of equipment. So machine guarding is number three. Number four is electrical. There's a lot of different ways to look at electrical safety. What we're talking about specifically here would be extension cords, proper use of junction boxes, having exposed wiring, and things like that. Those physical safety hazards with respect to electrical issues in your plant. Number five, OSHA record keeping. Uh, you have to have a log of all of your OSHA recordable injuries that you keep current throughout the course of the year, and then February 1st, you post a summary of that log for three months. A lot of folks aren't aware of that requirement. They don't do it. That's the number five OSHA violation for last year. Number six, medical services and first aid. You need to determine whether the fire department or the emergency medical services in your area can be in your facility within three to five minutes. If they can't, then you'll have to have people who are designated to do first aid in your plant. And it, either way, you're going to have to have a first aid kit with some supplies in there and some bloodborne pathogens protection equipment. So definitely want to make sure you look at how you're doing medical services and first aid for your employees in your plant. Number seven, flammable and combustible liquids. Where you're going to find flammable liquids for the most part, solvents in the press room, possibly uh, maintenance chemicals, aerosol cans and things like that. A lot of rules and regulations on flammable liquids. Number seven violation in printing last year. Number eight, emergency exits. You gotta make sure that the pathway to your emergency exits is clear, that they're ample for the people in your plant, and that they have an exit sign above them. Lots of other things are required, but those are the big ones. Number nine, personal protective equipment. You need to make sure you're providing an appropriate level of personal protective equipment, and that you've done an assessment of every position in your plant to ensure that you're providing what you need to where you need to in the facility. And finally, number 10, powered industrial trucks. Not too many ways to get killed at a printing company. Forklift operations is one. Operators have to be trained. It's site specific, it's truck specific. It has to be done every three years. I appreciate your attention. That's the top 10 list for OSHA violations in the industry. Thank you very much for your time.